my channel. So this video today is going to be on this look right here. This is a look I done at the start of the week and everybody um, liked it and was commenting underneath requesting it. So yeah, it's basically mainly focusing on the eyes and the lips so I haven't went, you know, I haven't dramatically contoured or anything on the face. If you want to, that's up to you, but this is mainly eyes and lips kind of look. So yeah, I've done an ombre lip and a real like orangey kind of phoenix flame inspired eye. Um, I mentioned all the products that I'm using. This is my first ever kind of talk through tutorial, so bear with me. I will edit it and try and make it as short as possible. Can't make any promises. But yeah, so if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching the video. First thing I'm going to do today is put on some lip balm. Um, we're going to be using a liquid lipstick today, which are really, really dry on your lips. I always put lip balm on anyway because um, I have dry lips so but today we're going to be using the liquid lipstick so it's just best if you put on some lip balm just at the start of your makeup. I'm a wee bit um, bummed up today I think I have a cold or something so just bear with me. So I'm going to start off with my eyes. Um, I was actually at a course um, doing makeup and my eyes are stained like pink eyeshadow so the pinkness around my eyes. It looks like I've been crying for about six months, but I haven't. <laughs> um, I'm gonna prep my eyelids um, with Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. Um, you can just use your finger, but I have really long nails, so they'll just get caught on underneath, and that would be horrible. transition shade. I'm just going to use this one here. It's like a real orangey kind of shade. So the reason why I'm doing this look, it was actually really highly requested. I posted it on my Facebook page and Instagram page and everyone was loving it. So I wasn't, not that it's really hard, you know, it's quite simple, but for some people that, you know, don't really know about makeup or haven't if I just have ever went as a bit of wing liner, it's maybe going to be a bit trickier, but hopefully this video will help us out. So now I'm going to grab this shade here, it's like a, a yellowy orangey shade, and I'm going to put that in my inner corner and blend it out. Now I am going to apply this color here ready pinky kind of color it comes out more red on, on your eyelid um, I'm gonna apply that just at the center um, you can blend it right out to the edge if you want because it's just gonna get covered with a dark color intensify the inner corner a little bit with this like shimmery yellowy shade here. 
so it's slightly lighter than this one that we just used. Ghosts of the deep, phantoms of the ocean. They hide in the sea space. This is when filming becomes tricky. I just pull my eye whenever I'm doing my gel eyeliner. Um, it's so weird because on my left eye I always have to pull it and on my right eye I don't really have to so So my camera stopped recording and I didn't get the footage of me doing the winged eyeliner on my other eye or putting my foundation and stuff on so yeah I went ahead and put my foundation and concealer and stuff on and I just bronzed up the face slightly. I didn't want to contour really in this video so just a little bit of bronzer and I'm going to go ahead and now and do my eyes. I'm going to go in underneath the eyes. So underneath the eyes I'm going to do this like orangey kind of shade here, the original transition shade. I'm going to pick that up underneath. This part's always so tricky trying to get this in the camera because normally I'm like, oh wait, out here, mouth open. Do you know what? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to do this a bit off camera, but you get the gist of it. No, I'm just gonna go in with the ready shade, that one there. Well, it's like a dark red. Um, I'm going to use the Permanent Wake Up Brow um, Brow Pencil. Baby, tell me if you like it. Tell me if you like it. So while I'm waiting on my eyelash to dry, I'm going to just apply a little bit of blusher. Blusher that I just used there was um, Max Sheer Tone Dust in Instant Chic, and then the Max Soft and Gentle um, Highlighter Mineralized Skin Finish. So the part that everybody was really like excited and loving was the lipstick. So I done like an ombre lip. So. I slightly overdraw my lips. I'm getting them um, filled again in two weeks. So I was going to film that for you to see, to, like to show you what happens in the process and tell you all about it if it's something that you're considering doing. If you want a video on that, just say below and I'll video and like document or vlog the whole kind of process about it. So yeah. Trading my soul for the city. So when I say I slightly overdraw my lips, it's really only here I would overdraw. When you start to overdraw down here, you can tell they're overdrawn big time. And that's not what nobody wants. You know, when you're overdrawing your lips, you don't want to be able to tell they're overdrawn. So. And on top of that lip line. It don't matter what they say. This one's teaching James and James. Yeah, I don't want the So then from here I'm just gonna go I'm trying to look at the camera. I don't want the about the future. I know I should but I train in my whole soul for the game. But I train in my whole soul for this. Faces you pull when you're doing your lips is crazy. 
the finished look um, if you try and recreate this look then be sure to tag me in it or send me it so that I can have a look at it um, yeah thank you all so so much for watching and if you haven't already then please subscribe to my channel and feel free to share it.